In this video, I'm going to show you how to add two vectors using the tip to tail method for vector addition. The first thing you need to do is draw a grid. Second, you have to look at the first vector. On the, this first vector, the location is at 200 degrees. You, you need a protractor to find 200 degrees. To do that, the basic angles of these grids are 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, one complete cycle. 200 degrees should be right here between 180 and 270 degrees. To find the exact location, we are going to place the protractor upside down and align this little hole here with the center of this grid. Then you need to add 20 degrees on this protractor right here because 180 plus 20 degrees we have 200 degrees now we need to connect slightly both points the center of the grid with the mark that you did with the protractor so here gives the location now let's find how to draw two newtons on the grid so here is showing that one newton is for a scale purpose is one centimeter so you are going to draw two centimeters using your ruler so you draw the first vector two newtons at 200 degrees now let's do the second one 110 degrees is between 90 and 180 so place your protractor upright, line up with the center, and right here is 110. Make a little dot, connect with the center. Now use a ruler and uh, mark five centimeter, which is equivalent to five newton. So now you have both vectors. To move those vectors, close this box right here and uh, move the smaller one. You can do both, but in this practice, we are going to move the smaller vector using tip to tail method. So right here, you have tip from one to the tail to the other one this vector no longer exists. Now you are going to connect the long tail with the long tip, make a line, and use an arrow to indicate the direction of the resultant of this vector, or R. So this is your five newtons, and this is your two newtons. Now you are gonna place an X between both tails. Good. Now let's go through the process of finding the resultant of the vector addition and the direction of the resultant. So, to, because this is a perfect right triangle, so my resultant is the hypotenuse. So I can find, I can use Pythagorean theorem to find my hypotenuse. Two square plus five square. So my R is square root 2 square plus 5 square my r is using your calculator 2 square sorry, 2 square plus 5 square equal square root 5.38 newtons so this is the magnitude now we need to find the direction of R. We have to count counterclockwise. So from here 
and you are going to walk in circles until you find R and you stop. So right here, so all this is my data or the direction of the resultant. So it's very easy to figure out that my data is from here to here, I know this location is 110 degrees plus my X will give me the location of R. So first I need to find my X. Who is my X? I'm gonna use the inverse of a tangent. The opposite is two, adjacent is five. Two divided by five, inverse of a tangent, 21.8 degrees. Now my data is the location of these, which is 110 degrees plus x. My data is 110 plus 21.8 degrees. So my data is 131.8 degrees, or you could round to 132 degrees. So, your final answer for this problem is your resultant is 5.38 Newton at 132 degrees. Final answer.